Hey, thanks for joining me. This is Mike from ChurchSpring, and in this video, we're going to show you how to add a sermon to your church website. So I'm here on the sermons page, and if I scroll down, I will see a list of sermons. And when I'm logged in, I have an add a sermon button there. And so what we do is click to add a sermon, and a form shows up here, and you have a few options on the form. You have the option to add an image for your sermon, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to add this image here. And then a couple different media types are available to us. We can upload the sermon as an MP3 file or an audio file, um, YouTube video, or Vimeo video. So I'm going to show you how to do all three in this instance here. First, I'll show you how to upload the MP3 or the audio file. I'm going to select my file. And as I do, it uploads here. It shows you the progress of the file as it uploads. Um, so that's how you do an MP3 file. Um, for YouTube and Vimeo, it's a little bit different. You use embed codes, and so let me explain a little bit about that. So let me go to YouTube. YouTube provides for every video that you upload to YouTube, it provides an embed code. And that embed code, you can paste in your site, um, and wherever that embed code shows up on your site, the video shows up. So I'm gonna grab, show you how to grab an embed code from a video on YouTube. So I'm gonna switch over a tab here, and here's a, a sermon. If you right click on the video itself, you can go to copy embed code. And then I could switch over here to my, um, my sermon and paste in the embed code. And that's pretty much it. When I hit save, it, when somebody visits the site and clicks on this sermon, they will see the video of the sermon there. Vimeo is a little bit different, but same concept. Let me go over here. A different way to grab the embed code. Let's go over to Vimeo. And I have a video here of a sermon. There is a share button here. When you click that, then you'll see the embed code here. You can copy it and then go back over to the area to paste in the embed code. And you paste it in. And that is pretty much it. So that's pretty much how to do audio um, or video. Again, we have YouTube or Vimeo, and really, you can use any other uh, service that you have that provides embed codes for video as well. We're not limited to just Vimeo or YouTube. Now I'm going to enter my sermon title. Um, it's called The Devotions of a Disciple. And if I scroll down more, I have an opportunity to select the date that the sermon was preached on. I'm going to select this date. If you'll note here, if you don't want to go live yet with this sermon, you uh, all you have to do is select a future date, and the sermon won't show up on your website until that date occurs, until it's either, let's say, the 17th or any date after the 17th. So if you don't want to go live, just select a, a future date, and it will go live at that point. Um, but I'm going to select a date that's already passed, so that means it will show up immediately when I click Save here. And then this is the description area. So if you want to put in sermon notes, you can add those um, there. I have some sermon notes I'm going to paste in here. And I'll paste those in. And as soon as I hit save, that sermon will be live. I'll scroll up here and you can see now we have the devotions of a disciple. And it was posted on March 10th or preached on March 10th. Let me show you what that sermon looks like when we click on it here. Um, we're brought to a sermon details page where the image that we selected now becomes this beautiful image at the top here in the header area that looks really nice. And if you scroll down, you'll see that we have um, the sermon video. So somebody can just click and play it there. And then the sermon notes right below it. Again, you'll notice that there are some share buttons here so that you can share this page on social media. And that is pretty much it. That's how you add a sermon to your website. It is really that simple. Um, the cool thing is, a couple other notes, is once it's uploaded, uh, people can go ahead and search for your sermon. The other thing is you can also set up a podcast. So we provide a, an RSS feed URL here. So when you submit it to iTunes, for example, um, you're going to need that URL. And um, you could select your podcast artwork. Put in podcast title and the description. When you hit save, the great thing is every sermon you upload after you've set up the podcast, every sermon you upload after that point will automatically be added to um, iTunes. An incredible feature for sermons also. So that is how you add a sermon to your church website.